The most interesting point, a fact about pleurisy pleuritis, is the description of its pathognomonic physical exam finding. The pleural friction rub is one of the most uniquely described sounds in all of medicine. So generations of physicians have struggled to describe this strange grating sound. And the most classic and evocative descriptions are not is the one uh, scientific, but deeply sensory, poetic. They include the sound of walking on fresh snow. And exactly like this, the creaking of a new leather. Two pieces of sandpaper being rubbed together. The sound is too distinct because is so distinct because it's one of of the few cardiac or pulmonary sound that is biphasic. It's hard during both inspiration and expiration. Okay, as the two inflamed. Uh, roughened layers of the pleura grate against each other with each face of the breeze. Yes, it's a throwback of to old medicine. It, if in an age of high-tech imaging, the ability to recognize a sound and compare it to the creak of a leather saddle is a beautiful reminder of the era when the stethoscope and the physician's keen ear were the most powerful diagnostic tools. Yes, I remember this area. Yes. And it's so hard to forget. Once you hear true plural fiction, my beloved, rub, free plural friction rub, you never, never forget it. The non-specific, no poetic descriptions are actually more effective for teaching than the technical one because they create a powerful, uh, unforgettable mental image. So the simple trick, my life hack to you, huh? no, not just mine, the trick to confirm it. Uh, the sounds can sometimes be confused with the pericardial, pericardial friction rub, not from pericarditis. This simple life-saving trick to tell them apart is it, to have the patient hold their breeze. So the pleural wrap will disappear because the pleural layers stop moving, while the pericardial wrap will persist because the heart, heart keeps beating. Stay blessed. Eh.